Hey, I'm Laura Woodmore, and this is my Glamifesto for life. My daily mantra is, and I'm robbing this because um, it's a song lyric, it's no one can change your life except for you. I love it so much so that I actually called my book that title. My instant mood booster is just a song that takes you back to a, a certain time of your life. It could be anything from ABBA or uh, Fleetwood Mac everywhere. And they just, as soon as I put that song on, even if I'm in a bad mood, they all make me feel great. Post the pandemic, I am most looking forward to travel. I cannot wait just to get back on a plane or on a boat or a train or even a long walk, just something just gets me traveling and moving again. The best thing that I've learned in the past year, it's okay to be in the present. You know, when we first got told it was lockdown, it was three weeks, then it was another three weeks and it was very hard to plan, plan ahead. And I'm someone who's always, you know, what's the next thing I'm doing? What's the next thing I'm doing? It was really good for me actually to kind of be still, even if it was against my will. And yeah, just to be a little bit more present and hopefully that's something I'll take with me going forward. What makes me feel passionate? I get very passionate when I see injustices uh, and, and, and things which I just think just aren't fair. And especially things I think to do with women. Um, as, a, as a female who was raised by a single mother, I, I was very lucky and then not all you know women in that situation can be as lucky. So making smart financial decisions, um, easier said than done. Labe I have, um, have done this survey recently just talking looking at women and and you know when it comes to speaking about finances and their finances and uh, according to this research amongst these women under 40 that most of us um we rather talk about some embarrassing medical ailment or we'll talk about men or women or relationships but we won't talk about finances and i don't know is there because there's a shame around it I think it's really important that we are able to talk about it because we say money doesn't isn't the number one priority but it does give you privileges and and it's very important that you have a little bit of backing who or what can i not live without it's quite hard because i'm like do i pick a person or do i pick my phone <laughs> like i'm gonna say like obviously my family and my my partner is brilliant, but like, you know what? My phone is very handy as well. <laughs> Glamour means confidence. I always think you look your best when you feel your best. And I think that comes hand in hand with confidence. I feel most glam when I feel confident. Sometimes I could be the Baftas or the Brits and dressed up to the nines, but I feel more glamorous down the pub with my mates. <laughs> my one little thing, my one little beauty hack is just red lipstick. My biggest achievement is squeezing a baby out of my vagina. <laughs> I think the best way to clap back against misogyny is to speak up about it. Women are kind of put against each other. And I've spoken about this before. Like when I first started on television, it's like, who wore it best? Or, you know, who do you want to be like? And people should be against each other. While I think when women get together, they can do wonderful things. The quirkiest thing, I've done many things. I just think it's good to be silly. I think sometimes we're told to, to be uh, a bit too serious and that's frowned upon. I'm always um, really jealous of kids because I feel, you no know, kids play and they run so fast that they fall over. I think I miss that. What do I want my legacy to be? Smiling at someone, like you can do the smallest things in life and it can make such a big impact. DVF, the, the designer, um, was saying that we all have magic wands um, and it's you know depending on what we do whatever job you have or wherever you are and being able to use it and it's like a little bit of a magic wand a little bit of a platform you have to help something else or talk about a social issue because you've got a bit of a platform that I've made someone happy um, that is a huge legacy.